Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Hogwarts Legacy on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in the previous video we received an owl from Lodgok who told us he was going to go and destroy Ranrock's drills and he also had something he wanted to give to me. So we headed over to the mines to help him out. When we arrived, we didn't find Lodgok. We fought through many goblins. We then found Ranrock and the final drill. We destroyed the drill and then Ranrock showed up and before Ranrock could do anything to hurt me, uh, Rookwood, Victor Rookwood showed up and he had Lodgok as a prisoner and Lodgok was carrying this book which he wanted to give to me but Ranrock took it and it was actually Bragbor's final journal entry talking about the final repository and its location. So Ranrock was furious, he was mad with Lodgok. We found out that Lodgok was his little brother, so because he was going to give me this journal, basically telling me where the final repository was, Ranrock lost his temper and killed his little brother, Lodgok. And before he could kill me, or Victor Rookwood, because Victor Rookwood got angry with him and they had a bit of a scuffle, the cave collapsed and we managed to escape. So uh, yeah, we've now got to inform Professor Fig and the Keepers that Ranrock now knows where the final repository is. And uh, then we came back to Hogwarts because our friend over there, Natty, was having a bit of a bad day. She was missing her father. She was missing her real homeland uh, back in Africa. So uh, she needed to have a little chat. So we basically said one sentence, I think, and she was feeling better. So that was good. So yeah, we've comforted our friend Natty. But what we're going to do today is... Um, Obviously, we can go speak to Professor Fig and we could tell him about the repository and we can uh, start talking about the fourth trial. Or we can go and start hunting for a moonstone with Poppy so that we could save these snidgets. And as I'm a massive animal lover, I'm going to do that mission today because I don't want poachers ever winning. If I can prevent poachers from winning, I sure as hell would do it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me have a quick look on this challenges tree, actually. I've probably got a few things I can maybe hand in. <coughs> Bloody hell, look at all these flipping hell. <laughs> We've got a lot of traits available. God damn, I've been forgetting to do this. Oh, look at that, we got a policeman hat. Oh, shit. We should wear this. I mean, we've been doing a better job than Officer Singer anyway. Look at that. That is terrifying. A Halloween pumpkin mask. Oh man, with some of the dialogue options in the game, if you were wearing that and choosing some of the dialogue options, you would actually possibly be considered a mass murderer. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I think there's another one there. There is. Lovely. Right, so, quests. Oh yeah, look. San Bacar's Trial. Okay, I think the final Keeper Trial might be relatively quick, actually. I don't think I remember it being that long. The centaur and the stone. Poppy sent me an owl saying that she wants to meet near Irondale at a cave south of Hogwarts. Meet Poppy near Irondale at the cave. Okay, we will do that today. And we'll search for this moonstone that is supposed to lead us to uh, the location of Snidgets, which are a rare animal that uh, the poachers are currently searching for. And obviously, they want to collect them, sell them, kill them, make money off of them as always. I'm guessing we're going to go to the far most southern area. Oh no, not for once we don't have to. Man, look at the amount of missions in... Uh, is this Feldcroft? No, where is that? I'm not sure where that is. I think what we'll do, once we've finished with the main story... I was going to say if you guys... and Oh no, quick. I'm going to speak to this guy quickly because he, he's been struggling for a while. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins, that's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. Oh, well, I've got a billion of them, I think. Here you go. <laughs> no, no, no charity. No charity. Oh, man. That would be a very, very Merlin response. I say no charity. If you can't defend yourself, you'd be better off staying out of their way. I'm not giving you charity. You'll be sorry. When Ranrock's loyalists come to take me away, you'll be sorry then. <laughs> so fucking hell. I'm sorry. I can't count on someone in the wizarding community to help against goblins. 
What has it come to? I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry. Goblins got you yet? Or did you find some Maxima potions? <laughs> Fucking hell, no, Berlin. No, not yet. Does this mean you've changed your mind? Oh, go on then. Go on then. Go on then. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> Sound like you're from up north, thank. mate. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. Oh, well, damn. Well, that was worth it. I think we got the better, uh, the better end of the deal. Because Thunderbrew potions I actually do very rarely use. <laughs> hey, look, it's a pop-up shop. I love these. When you're flying around, you see them sometimes setting up a random tent. Yeah, see, look. I love that. You see one behind uh, behind um, the Hogwarts Express station. I can't remember what the name of the station is. Hogsmeade Station, ain't it? Oh, lovely. Man, I'll tell you what, man. I love the dialogue options in this game. It's the same with, like, Oblivion. I, man, I really want to do an a Oblivion playthrough. If you're wondering why I've not played Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion on this channel, because I, I think everybody knows that that is my second favourite game of all time behind Crash Bandicoot. Uh, the reason I haven't done it is because I love the game more than anything. I've not played it since 2010, and the game has not aged terrifically. It's playable, but oh, there's so many things that are just a bit a bit dodgy about it, you know. So just for that reason, I, I, I just don't want to go back to it and spoil it, you know. <laughs> So uh, that's probably the main reason why I've not done a playthrough of it on YouTube. And also, I don't know how many views it would get because it's a very old game. It came out in like 2006 or seven. So I, if not many people are going to watch it and I'm going to do like a 300 episode playthrough, you know. I just, uh, you know. I suppose I could try and play it on PC. I don't know how I would record it because I don't really play on PC. Exactly. But I don't know how I would, would record it. But I could get some mods that might make the game look a bit more modern. Maybe adjust some of the dodgy mechanics. Could do something like that, I guess. But uh, I don't, uh, not not I don't play on PC, I don't record on PC ever, so I don't know how I would do that, where it wouldn't be an absolute chore. Ugh. Who knows, maybe I'll think about, I'll figure, I'll figure something out maybe one day. But Elder Scrolls 4 by far is better than Skyrim in every way. And a lot of people would say that Morrowind is better than Oblivion, but I never got to play Morrowind. I tried to play it on the Xbox original and it was a buggy pile of shit, but... It's Bethesda, they never release a working game and somehow they get critical acclaim <laughs> for a broken game. Look what happened to poor CD Projekt Red. You Makes no sense. Double standards. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. <laughs> desperate for anything, are you, Poppy? Now is not the time. <laughs> Let's poke around this mystery cave. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. Man, my nose is so itchy. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Oh, well, that's a brilliant way to start the mission. <laughs> Before we even hit head in there, you start making comments like that, Poppy. Now I don't want to find the moonstone. Look at these little scary bumblebees floating around everywhere. Look at that. Oh, it just bloody faded into the abyss. What are they doing? What are you all doing here? Go look for flipping nectar, you weirdos. There's not a single flower in sight. No, you're just here to scare me, ain't you? Stupid bees. <clears throat> a moonstone garden. That sounds nice, doesn't it? You don't think the rumours about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Great. <laughs> Oh god. Well at least we know there's spiders in here. Oh man, I should have I should have gone to Hogsmeade first. Ah uh, yeah, I should have probably gone to Hogsmeade first. 
I found quite a lot of loot in the previous video when we was uh, searching for uh, that drill. And also, I feel I might have a few upgrades as well that I need to reveal. Oh, man. Oh, well, we'll finish this mission. Hopefully, we don't run out of bag space. <clears throat> it's another aggressive one. What is that? Oh, it's a dog bog. <clears throat> You see what Poppy said? See someone's not afraid of the dark arts. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> How do you even flip these guys? What is going on with them? I've got no idea. How'd you flip them over? Because I think you're supposed to be able to flip them over. Oh, who used a chomping cabbage? Was that you, Poppy? Eh? Because I didn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how you flip them over. Because I think they take big damage on their bellies. Oh, look. Not grass, Sprig. They're pretty damn rare, they are. Rebellio. Right, we need to find some sort of... Uh... Oh, there. Oh, there it is. Confringo. I don't think we need to do this. I think this is more Lumos. for uh, collecting. Yeah, I think it might be to yeah collect that legendary chest up there. Okay, so make sure you do this. The problem with these bloody things is you need to uh, have, um, what is it, Depulso? Yep, Depulso on your bar. Well, I better do this out here. Get out of the way, Poppy, otherwise I'm going to Depulso you across the room. Depulso. Oh shit, I don't know if I went high enough. Oh no, I did. Forgot that Merlin was Spider-Man. <laughs> Harry runs up that wall. He's definitely got sticky fingers like Spider-Man. <clears throat> Wonder how you got those sticky fingers, Merlin. Been thinking about Professor Garlic, have we? Haven't we all? Haven't we all? <laughs> Man. We are gonna be we're gonna be very prepared for um trial number four with the amount of bloody legendary gears gear upgrade we found. Off Whooper! Oh, look! Please. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Whooper's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. That is beautiful! Look at that! Man, look at all those colorful Whoopers everywhere. Oh, that's gotta be where the Moonstone is, ain't it? That's gotta be where the Moonstone is. Definitely. 100%. Rebellion. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, for God's sake! There we go. Rebellion. If the moonstone is here and so are Pointers, I wonder if it's being protected. Rebellion. Well, I guess we will find out, won't we? At least these little spiders don't seem to be too bothered about me. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was. Ah, it's another one of these puzzles that we had to do with Sebastian a while ago. Rebellion. So we need to find the moths. And it looks like there's a collection chest. So to do these puzzles, you look at the symbols above the door... And then you make sure you pull the buttons or levers, whatever you'd call these. Make sure you pull the right ones in the right order to open the subsequent door. So we need a triangle and we need a circle. So the triangle and then the circle one. There you go. Lovely. Okay, so the ones that don't have anything appearing, I'm guessing that'll be where the moth is. So the curly circle and the normal circle. Why am I not surprised? First the foopers and now this.
Oh, there it is. There we go. Lumos. We need to find moths for those spinners. I'll tell you what, Poppy, right? You need to shut the hell up. I'm not stupid, okay? I know I make I know I make some stupid mistakes very rarely in these games. It does happen, but very rarely. But I don't need you telling me what to do 45 times, okay? If anyone needs to do any explaining, it shall be me. Oops. Oh, now I'm pressing the wrong button. See, you made me all pissed off now, Poppy, and I'm pressing the wrong button. And you're also getting in my way when I'm trying to pull the levers. Lumos. All right, gonna have to get me old Depulso back out again. Depulso. Perhaps the rooms on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. I've got the moths, Poppy. Look, that's it. Get out of here, Poppy. Go wait by the entrance. I'll go find the moonstone on my own. You go wait by the entrance, okay? Leave me a couple of chomping cabbages and piss off. I'm sorry, Poppy. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I, I did mean it, but I didn't mean it. <laughs> uh, I guess we better open that one up as well, because that's got um got some money in it by the looks of it. Revelio. Yeah. Okay, so the circle one and the Tetris piece. Akio. Lovely. I'm not sharing any of this money with you. We are definitely not going half, so I did all the work. Looks like we need to bring the moths with us, I think. Lumos. Lumos. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Before we uh, go across this bridge and we do this puzzle right here, I think we should possibly jump in the water. Because I think there might be a, a section, like a little secret section that leads to a couple of chests. Oh, some Dittany leaves. Lovely. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, and that moth down there, that moth is required for getting through that door. So you ain't got to worry about that. Oh, yeah, look. Okay, we'll come down here first. It should be a uh, just a couple of just chests and things we can get. And the exit will lead back, further back. Did, uh, does Poppy come with me or not? Oh no, I don't think she does. And a flipping hell did you do that? you got to just materialise, Poppy. you got to swim like the rest of us. Guess she didn't want to get her hair wet. <laughs> you know how the ladies are with their hair. Especially if it's not a hair washing day. Rebellion. Well, whatever those enemies are, they definitely know we're coming there. Revelio. Oh shit, man, we are gonna be absolutely loaded with gear. Are they dope? Yep. I'm gonna bloody sneeze. Imperial. Yes, I'm not afraid of the dark arts popping. Now I gotta be honest, that was bullying. <laughs> that was straight up bullying. Oh, poor guy. I can't just attack him from up here. That's not very nice. Okay. Rebellion. Is that a collection chest? Is that our flipping reward for doing this? God damn it. <laughs> I don't want the f I don't care about the bloody uh collections. I don't care. You know, I just want loot. You know, I want to make Merlin an absolute beast. I don't care about decorating the room of requirement. Maybe off camera I might be a bit more inclined, but on camera, it's just there as a way to supply me with 
quality potions and powerful gear. And also a place to keep all, all of my adorable beasts. I'm not bothered about making it look pretty, I don't care. <laughs> I never care about stuff like that, even in Animal Crossing, The Sims, all these kinds of games. The only game where I probably care about it a bit is House Flipper. And that's because that's basically the point of House Flipper. I don't know if you guys or girls know, Macabre Gamer tagged me in this a, a very long time ago, but they're making a House Flipper 2, and it releases on the same day as PC, and I think the uh, Xboxes as well. It won't be on Switch, because the Switch is too weak, as, uh, I, think. I don't think it's on Switch. I mean, the first game barely runs on the Switch, so there's no way the second one will run on the Switch properly, without being nerfed into high heaven, where it may as well just be the House Flipper 1. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it comes out this year, apparently. Hopefully they keep up with the DLC at the same speed as PC this time and not make bloody console players wait about four years for anything to come out. But I'll definitely do a playthrough of that. Alright, we're back in the main room now, so now we can continue with the puzzles. My nose has become very weird in this video. It's suddenly become very blocked. <laughs> I don't know why. And very bloody itchy. And it's annoying the hell out of me. Ah. Uh. Ah, I hate when I do that. The okay, that's a bridge. Oh, we need three moths for that door. And I'm guessing this one brings up the water moth. Lumos. Merlin, it's beautiful. Protego. <laughs> that's my name. She was literally telling you it's beautiful. She said, Merlin, it's beautiful. Lumos. And I guess, I, I get very confused when they keep talking about Merlin's beard. Every four seconds, they keep saying, Merlin's beard. And it's like, what are you talking about? Merlin don't have a beard. I should have named him Merlin. I should have given him a different name. I should have just, something Wolfington. But I thought Merlin was pretty good, you know, because Merlin's a magician. But it's probably a name that I guess many people have probably used for their character in this game. So that was a bit generic, but the Wolfington is, that's quality right there. You did it. Oh, for God's sake. Get out of it. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do it. Just remember, if you go onto the collection challenges, you can learn their weaknesses and how you do extra damage to them. So if you want to find out how to actually rotate these gits and hit them in the belly, it will tell you on the collection tab. I tell you what, we, we've probably got enough money now to get the final uh, broom upgrade. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Well, you better actually swim this time, Poppy. Are you even in the water at the moment? Oh, you are? Oh, you did get your hair wet. Okay, that's all right then. I expect to see you pop up next to me. That's it, there we go. That's much better. I don't like it when you're just phasing out of nowhere. Completely destroys my immersion. Oh, here we go. That's got to be... Yep, there's the Fwooper tree. I knew it was going to be here. Mostly because I've already done the mission, but... It was obvious. It had to be here. Look at that. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's oh. got to be here. I just know it. Man, I wish this game had a follow mode. This would make a lovely thumbnail. Now it's just going to have to be a generic picture of like Poppy or something or Merlin. <laughs> or I suppose actually the Moonstone might make a good thumbnail. Because there's got to be like some sort of cutscene of them picking it up. So maybe that'll be a good thumbnail. Who knows? I always try and pick whichever looks the most colourful and beautiful. Given what Whoopers and Oaks do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. 
I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the moon is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. What are Foopers known to do then? Drive people crazy? Because I've been working with Foopers for a while now, back in my uh, room of requirement. And they've not done anything bad to me. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Maybe it's just rumours. We found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Oh, that is beautiful, ain't it? The Scholar's Moonstone, said to lead us to the Snidgets. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Well, that's not going to give me a bloody thumb now, is it? What you doing like that for, Merlin? I wanted to have like some sort of dramatic you slowly picking it up. And we're going to get a thumbnail now. God damn it, I wanted it in this area. Look how beautiful it is. Man, you're going to be detrimental to my views. I could have got 25 views instead of 10. God damn it, Merlin. <laughs> well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Okay, right now? Yep, I'm ready to leave now. I don't think there's any chests left behind. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Yeah, it's, it's good to be worried because the centaurs don't really like wizards very much. And even though Doran pretended to be friendly, he might be trying to bamboozle us, getting us killed where it wouldn't be the fault of the uh, centaurs. It would be the fault of us just, you know, trying to solve puzzles. <laughs> I doubt it's dangerous. It better, it better have to do, yeah, it better, because that's why we're doing this. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I oh. think that's it over there. Oh, God, I better not have to have a dark thumbnail there. How's God the damn it. Doing, by the way? Nothing keeps Gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Everybody should understand that. But unfortunately, in this world they don't. They see weak people and they take advantage. Or weak people, weak animals, anything weaker than them, they take advantage. Scumbags. I'm trying to stay close to Poppy, because if I walk too far away, when she speaks to me, you can't hear what she says. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to be slow. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Well, I don't know, maybe there's another hole round here. No, oh, no, there isn't. That's beautiful. Bloody hell, alright, relax, Poppy. Oh, hello, little guy, what are you doing here? We've been bamboozled. We've got a moonstone and it's just showed us where moon calves are. <laughs> <laughs> you open your mouth any wider, Poppy, you're going to break your jaw. <laughs> a moon calf dance do you know how rare it is to see even one they only ever happen under a full moon though i suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal all part of the dance no one pattern is ever the same though we'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it can't wait to tell Gran i've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances she'll be jealous you've seen this before it was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... Okay, why, why are you stuttering? 
I'd love to hear about it. You seem hesitant. You needn't tell me. Uh, oh man, I never know what to say in these kinds of situations. Sometimes they need some encouragement to get it off their chest. But then if you say this, they won't talk about it. But if you said that, they might have got it off their chest. I'm going to say I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear about how you and I were met. I'd actually like you to know. Okay. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Ah, oh, Poppy, I am very, very disappointed. Ah, <laughs> oh, because that means you've probably still been around doing some poachery stuff before you ran away. Obviously, you would have been a kid, so you wouldn't have had much choice. Well, you always have a choice. Once you're, to the, once you're the age of four onwards, in my eyes, you've got a choice. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't tell me. <laughs> now, we can't say that. It's obvious why she didn't tell me, because I wouldn't have worked with her. <laughs> How awful for you. How awful for the animals, you mean? Fuck it. Why didn't you tell me this before? After all our time together. I'm sorry. I thought about it so many times, but I'm ashamed of who I... Who my family is. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. Well, that's good. I'm happy to hear about that, Poppy. You're succeeding. You can't save all of them. <laughs> Why would you say that? We already know we can't save every animal. The stupidest statement on the planet. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. You're succeeding. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. That's all right, Poppy. We both love animals. You're my favourite character in the game, to be honest. But don't tell Professor Garlic, because she will get jealous. Uh, what was it like growing up with poachers? Oh, I don't want to know about that. It was Obviously, it was horrendous. Do your parents know that you sabotage poachers? It's a good question, actually. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. Blech. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But, sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. Yeah, the damage is already done. That's not something you can forgive someone for. Do you worry about being recognized by the poachers. Well, clearly she doesn't, because look what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Okay. Alright, I'm going to wait a second because you definitely haven't drawn it yet. And it doesn't even look like you're drawing. It looks like you're writing a sentence. <laughs> that does not look like you're drawing at all. What did they actually draw? Let's see if we can see. I don't how would you even see what, they, what they've drawn? You need, to, you need to get like a bird's eye view. You need to be able to like, I don't know, there's literally nowhere to stand. Maybe up on that tree or something would be enough, maybe. Or we could go up there actually. Yeah, that'd be enough, I reckon. Alright, you've drawn it. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. Yeah. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. 
That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. I'm ready to leave. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. And you two are probably freezing. I'll see you later, pop it. Oh, 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 well, we've got a talent point. Lovely. Okay, right. What are we going to spend this bad boy on? Uh, I don't, there's no point worrying about the final stealth upgrade. Uh, I don't really use any of these. These are all good. I mean, this one's pretty good, but I just don't never use the transformation spell. Turns people into a TNT barrel, which is obviously very good because those TNT crates do a ton of damage. Obviously, I want to get this at some point, but there's no point getting it because we don't even have the bloody spell. It might be time for me to upgrade some of my potions, maybe. Oh, I should get this one, actually. Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to agi uh, ancient magic meter. Yeah, we'll grab that. That's very good. What's this one? Okay, well, I don't do successful Protego blocks. <laughs> I never bloody do it ever. Okay, right. Let's go back to the room of requirement now because I've got quite a lot of gear I need to reveal. We're probably going to have a lot of upgrades available, to be honest. So I think what we'll do in the next video... Uh, we'll probably have to spend a bit of time upgrading the gear. Shouldn't take too long, maybe five-ish minutes. And then once that's done, uh, we will probably go down to the map chamber. Oh, that's not where the loom is. Not the loom, the uh, reveal table. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, we've got some lovely upgrades. Let's have a quick butchers on my gear then. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. We definitely need to get a new hat at some point. Okay. Oh, that is a massive upgrade. Oh, look at the state of ya. There we go. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. He looks, he looks horrendous. I hope I've got enough supplies to upgrade all these things. Uh, what did we have on before? Cursed targets. Lovely. Fully upgraded. Oh crap, I'm running out of supplies again. Confringo. Okay, what was the other thing we equipped? Gloves are already done. We need to upgrade that a bit more. Hat's already done. Oh, we need to upgrade the scarf. Yeah, we need to go and get a lot of... Uh, uh, we need to get a lot of um, supplies from our animals. Alright, I'll have to do that next time. Alright, thanks for watching Warful Bets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.